The Philadelphia Orchestra revisited China in 2019 for a celebration of 40 years of the two countries' diplomatic relations, a key reminder of the cultural ties between the U.S. and China and how music, specifically the Philadelphia Orchestra, helped establish the U.S.-China foreign relationship. In the life of an organization, the Philadelphia Orchestra has been around for 120 years. Touring is a way for an orchestra to share what it can do best. Um, it's also a way to exchange culturally with new audiences. It, it, it's a special moment in Chinese-U.S. relations. It's, it's, a, it's a moment in time where we're celebrating an anniversary of not just the opening of China to the Western world, but also of the United States and China really working more closely together. The orchestra's 1973 performance in Beijing was a first. The first time a Western orchestra performance was broadcast live in China, and it influenced a generation of future musicians. The Oscar-winning composer Tan Dun, famed for his soundtracks of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Hero, heard the Beethoven Sixth Symphony for the very first time. He was in a wheat field when he heard that broadcast. One particular story from that 1973 orchestra tour continues to reverberate. It revolves around Beethoven VI. The Chinese government requested the piece specifically and then maestro Eugene Ormandy flatly refused. After much urgent persuasion by an accompanying U.S. diplomat, the Sixth Symphony was finally included in the show's program to avoid a diplomatic incident. Forty-six years later, the Philadelphia Orchestra was touring China again. Beethoven's Sixth Symphony was performed once more. The orchestra also premiered a Tandun piece. Interestingly, Three original members from the very first trip were there. David Booth, one of the three, reminisces of the first time in 1973. I've been a violinist and second keyboard player with the Philadelphia Orchestra for 46 years, and I actually literally started my job by coming on the China trip, and I'll never forget the... One of the most important things that we heard about was how this influenced a lot of people. These first concerts, they were played on, I guess, radio and sometimes speaker systems out into the field. And, and the great, wonderful composer Tan Dunn has told us that he was out working in a field and heard the music of the Philadelphia Orchestra, those first broadcasts, played. And he said that he was so touched and inspired right at that moment that he wanted to be a musician. Tan Dunn talks about this experience of hearing the Philadelphia Orchestra play Beethoven's Sixth Symphony which he had never heard, he had never, the sound. And he decided at that moment, he said, I'm gonna write music that sounds like that. That's what I'm gonna do with my life. Since that first trip in 1973, we've gone back, I think about a dozen times since then. And for all the times that we've come back, we've never played Beethoven's Sixth Symphony since that first trip. So on this, on this visit, we'll be performing Beethoven's Sixth Symphony. 
what we've learned is as we communicate people to people, so just purely as artists communicating to the people of China, uh, it, it's uh, politics and what might be happening in the news on a daily basis doesn't matter. It just doesn't, as long as, the, as long as we keep showing up. China definitely, along with all of Asia, has become one of the great markets for classical music. And everywhere we go, the love and the appreciation, the audiences that we see, uh, it's really, really one of, uh, I think, one of the most moving things to see how the people love and react. Commitment in music for us at the Philadelphia Orchestra is to music that has impact. We often say great music. What is great music? Great music is music that can transform the people. The fact that there are three of us left from that original trip, I mean, I'm very glad and thankful that I've lasted this long, still in reasonably good health and all this. And yes, it is a wonderful experience that we we are able to, to still come back. The small group of people that were there originally in 1973, I refer to us as the old fossils. But uh, uh, I'm glad that I have been a part of this history from the beginning. <laughs>